Hi guys, thank you for joining me and welcome. It is book haul time. It's like Christmas. <laughs> and I got a few that I want to show you. So let's get right to it. I'm starting with the newest books that came out this year. So I'm starting with this Flower Mandalas from Color Yaw. It's a beautiful spiral book. I think spiral books is, is really practical. I love them. And I really fell for this. It's got some beautiful illustrations. And they're called mandalas. Not, you know, they're not classic mandalas as you can see. But really pretty. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And this is a full page. Beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. I'm not going to go through it all, even though it's very tempting. I know there's flip throughs of these, of this book. So, if you're interested, you can see that. But yeah, very pretty book. And, and it's a spiral book, so it's perfect for me. It's quite big. It's like, you can see my hand here. By the way, I can measure it for you so you know the exact measurement. It's 21 centimeters wide and 30 heights. And then inches, it's 8.2 and 12 heights. So that was that. Then we get next from 2023, The Universe. This is a compilation book of, I, I guess, her favorite, um, favorite illustrations from other books and some new illustrations as well. So you can see in the bottom where the, the illustration is from. So this is from Botanicum and this is from Flora. I really love working in her book. So by the way, these are new. It says universe down here. Those, these are all new illustrations. This is new as well. And this one. Just trying to look for the new ones because they're all random in the book. That's his universe, so that's new. Universe, new one. Oh, that's gorgeous. I don't have Twilight Garden. I only have. I only have Luna from before. So I got a lot of shopping to be done if I want the whole book series. 
this is new as well. Both of these are new. And I couldn't wait. I had to start on a page. So, so I got one page done in this one. This is new. I barely opened this book, so it's I still have to crack it open. These are new. And these are new as well. This is new. Alright. Fantastic. I'm going to work a lot in this book. And then the last one that I got from 2023 is Rising by Carolina Kubikowska. Now, I pretty much have a favorite book every month. <laughs> and this is my new one. So, yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh. the I love her illustrations. It's... Uh, I don't know. I just love the sketchy style that she has. They're really breathtaking, and oh, I mean, look! Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't know if I even want to color some of them, and I just want to put it up on the wall because they are stunning. I'm sure it's not everyone's cup of tea. We all got our own style that we like, so that's how it is. But yeah, this is really right up in my alley. Such a cute kitty. Oh, this is beautiful. A little gnome, I guess, in the forest. Very pretty. Oh, that's adorable. Alright guys, I'm not going to go through the whole book, even though I want to. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm going to measure it for you. It is 21 and a half centimeters wide. And 30 height. And inches. Point four and height twelve. All right, and then I got some books from well, some older books, different years. Let's start with this one Trees of Life, Creative Haven. This is from 2017. I really liked it. I watched a flip through of it. And I fell for it.
I thought this could be good to use some gel pens and maybe some markers. I have a full flip through of this if you're interested. So go check that out. Then next, we have a Hannah Carlson book, Forest Tales from the Forest Kingdom. It's from 2021. So I'll flip through of this and fell for this as well. Barely opened, so I'm just going to crack it. can hear the sound of a new book. Hold on. Did you hear it? <laughs> yeah, I, I just, um, she got a lot of beautiful illustrations in here. I really like it. I'm sure there's a bunch of flip throughs of this on YouTube, so you can go check that out if you haven't seen it already. But yeah. And then I got a little small pocket book, which is great to maybe use it at work or travel or whatever you want. I love these little cute books. So this is Christmas Cuties by Joshua Dunbar. And this is from 2022. It's not Christmas yet, but I like to be prepared. So I got this when Christmas arrives. And oh my gosh, look. They are adorable. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you have to get in a good mood when you see these. Just easy illustrations. You know, you can use markers if you want, whatever you want. It's a quick color. I just, I had to have it. It was adorable. I'm going to measure it for you so you know the size. So it's 12.7 centimeters wide, 20.3 height, and in inches, 5 wide, and 8 height. Next one is a bit different. It's a postcard book. I'm starting to really like these. They're great size. And you can use them if you want. If you want to send them in a mail to someone you love. What's better to, than to send a postcard that you colored yourself? So it's, it's illustrations from the same, from the book, Furs in Wonderland. If you're interested in checking that out as well. So some of them are really intricate. They're gorgeous. And you can use any medium you like. I mean, you can see 
It's a postcard. Really thick. I'm going to post a flip through of this. So look out for that if you're interested. Beautiful. And then last but not least, another postcard book, Enchanted Forest, Johanna Bassford. This is an older one. It's from 2015. Very small. You have to have a thin gel pen or something. Or a pencil. That is beautiful. That is pretty. I'm definitely going to use my gel pens in here. I think it would be perfect for this. Really simple and really pretty. Love this. A little village on stilts <laughs> in the trees very very pretty all right so that's the books that I got this time I hope you liked some of them maybe I gave you some ideas on what to get next uh, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time